planner friends it's Mandy from my unique plans and today I'm going to show you how I created a monthly cheat sheet to help my planning go a little smoother each month so I'm working in my classic happy planner and you know when I do my monthly overview and then also as I'm doing my weekly overviews there's certain things that I know are going to have to go in there every single month. So bills that need to be paid, cleaning, uh, meal planning, different things around the house. And I find that as I'm doing one month, I'm constantly having to flip back to previous months to see exactly what needs to go on each week and what day things are due. So to make that a little easier I have created this monthly plans cheat sheet that I can use each month just pull it out and help me plan I can't take complete credit for this idea I got the inspiration watching Heather Kell on Kell of a Plan and if you're not already following her you need to because she is amazing but one of the videos I watched, Heather was helping a fellow planner babe figure out how to plan a month in advance. And as I was watching that, I thought, you know what? That's something that I could take, alter a little bit, and really make my life easier. So I'm gonna show you kind of how this came about. I started with one of these daily pages. I picked these up in a pack a while back, I think at Walmart, they were just a few dollars, and then realized that this layout didn't really work for me. So the first thing I did was I went through and I found some washi tape, and I wanted something that was pretty neutral, would work from month to month to month, no matter where I had it in my planner. So I went with this blue pattern and I covered up top priorities by the hour, get it done, and then covered up all of these hourly check marks as well as these uh, check boxes over here. So from there, some of the other supplies I used were obviously some stickers, some white out, my X-Acto knife. And this is what the finished product looked like. So I had these navy blue letters in my stash that I used to title the page monthly plans. Then I took these tiny date stickers and put the days of the month, one through 30, uh, right here next to this strip of washi tape. I added a Bill's Due sticker, and here I am writing in what day of the month is each one of our bills due, so we know our power bill's always due on the 6th, our water bill's always due on the 15th, our direct TV bill's always due on the 18th. These are the dates that aren't going to change. The bills are going to be due the same day every month. Up here, I added a little reminder because I always want to include meal planning in my layouts. So the way that I do meal plan is I sit down and I do a monthly meal plan that I then break down into weekly plans and weekly grocery lists. Here, I used these fun chore stickers that I'm not sure which pack they came out of but I divided it up so my weekly chore list, I know I'm gonna have to clean the bathroom, the bedroom, the living room, those kind of tasks, do the laundry every week. And then down here at the bottom, I use the same stickers to list out monthly chores. So, you know, once a month, I'm going to vacuum the furniture, I'm gonna clean the ceiling fans, I'm going to clean the washing machine, clean the dishwasher, clean the garbage disposal. So from there, I just found, you know, a get it done sticker, failing to plan is planning to fail, and left myself a little bit of white space here in the center 
So as I'm going along, if there's things I think of that I need to be adding in, I've got a little bit of room to do that. Then on the back where it is normally this brain dump page, I actually used the journaling stencil and was able to get 12 boxes on there, one for each month of the year. And I turned this into my perpetual calendar. So I had these stickers that had the months of the year on it. And one of the colors was this purplish blue that I really liked. So I went with a coordinating paper mate flare pen. I didn't want the boxes to be perfectly lined up or evenly spaced. I wanted it to be a little random around the page. So then I took my white out and white it out where it said brain dump and put a couple birthday cakes and a birthday sticker. And then I found these little confetti stickers that I scattered around the page, a couple that say, oh, happy day. So now I've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then I went through and wrote in all of the, the birth dates that I need to keep track of in my planner. So the way I'm planning on using this is this monthly plan page is actually going to live in the back of my classic happy planner. So then when it comes time to plan, and let's just say I'm getting ready to do August. When it comes time to do my August monthly overview, I can pull this right out of the back of my planner. I've got all of my bill due dates that I can pencil in. I've got my weekly cleaning tasks. I've got all the birthdays for that month. Everything right here on one page. And then as I start going through, um, you know, this is the week of August 26th. I can pull this out and I can say, okay, the week of August 26th, this bill, you know, my car payment is due, the phone bill is due, and let's look in August. Nope, I don't have any birthdays or important dates that I need to add. So I think this is really going to be a huge time saver as I'm doing my planning because everything I need is right there on one simple page that's now going to live in the back of my planner. So I hope this has given you some ideas on how you can make things a little easier in your planning. Um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button below. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe and happy planning.